looks like high tech. All right, here we go. Okay. Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, How to Make a TV Show. This yeah. is our first episode. <laughs> this is day one of How to Make a TV Show, and we are with the lovely, the talented, uh, the funny, the great actor, fantastic great actor. dancer, <laughs> sexy, gorgeous uh, Allison Dunbar. I, don't, I can't think of what else. I, I, I feel it. like that's good. It's, it's kind good. of embarrassing. All right. Yeah. All right. But it's true. All it true. is true. Thank you. Um, and uh, who I, I'm, you know, obviously one of your biggest fans. And we mm -hmm. are about to create a TV show mm -hmm. that we're going to, from start to finish, we're taking you with us, mm -hmm. and then we're going to try to go out and sell it. And behind the camera, by the way, is Nancy with her new fangled uh, Hello. gizmo. Hello. So we're right here in this bar. Mm -hmm. So the topic of this show, it, we're going to set it in the world of burlesque. Yep. That's why we're here at, a, at the burlesque bar where you actually perform. Yep, Harvell's mm -hmm. in Santa Monica. I perform here once a month with my group Smoke Show. Mm -hmm. Which we're going to be promoting on the mm -hmm. uh, on the website mm -hmm. because we want... You know, we want to like tr cross promote all of it so that people who are fans of Smoke Show can get into the Heller TV Burlesque Show and Visa Versi. Yes. So if you want to see Allison and you, I've seen this show and I was shocked at first of all how good it is. Did you think it, it was going to be terrible? No, I didn't think it was going to be terrible, but I didn't think it was going to be. All, I mean, it's like it's yeah. so yeah. choreographed. Yeah. So how often do you ladies work? Uh, we get together, um, well, when we're in the uh, creation process, uh, Jody and I, Jody, who you'll see in this TV show. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Um, yes. Gorgeous I, redhead. All of the, everyone is. Yeah, all they're the all are. just so hot. It's like, seriously, I saw the first show, I, you invited us to a show. Mm -hmm. I think yep. we periscoped from that. And I was so shocked. But yeah. also beyond that, and what I love about Burlesque that I don't think people who have never been understand is that it's not like strippers, it's, yeah. right? Like it's, Not at all. I mean, I, what I feel like whenever I'm trying to say to someone, come see my burlesque show, mm -hmm. and if I'm saying that to a guy, I feel like it's not, I'm not <laughs> inviting you to come, we're not stripping, right. which I don't think we strip at all. I don't think anything gets stripped off on the show. Mm -hmm. And it's not what you picture this like kind of, there was a movement for a while with burlesque where it was just any cheesy girl in the world with boobs would come out and da -da 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 and like fling a feather boa and that was burlesque. But and you guys are like choreographed that, within yes. an inch You're of real it. dancers. Yes. And, and they move around like there's bars up here along the, the bar here and yep. they're like hanging from it and they're and they're making it and they're like coming on to each other and you're smoking <laughs> cigarettes and they're strutting and the bar is packed full of people. It, yeah, yeah, I mean it's definitely a very interactive show and that's why we love dancing at Harvell's because Seven, the owner, actually makes his clubs for dancers where... Seven? Seven, seven is the name. Seven. Why is he called Seven? Um, he was he's he's named after a German Shepherd. <laughs> Who isn't? Right. Who isn't? Yeah. Sure. Um, but, but there's uh, worse things to be named after. That's true. Yeah. Now, true. okay. So you guys. So now you're the only actor in the yes. group. Yes. I'm an. We have an actress. We have a. Uh, Jody's a real dancer. J Jody was a Laker girl. We have a phar Whoa. pharmaceutical sales rep. I love that. A we, that's so hot. We have a manager of a Lululemon. Mm -hmm. What's um, that? It's a What's clothing store. What's Lululemon? It's a, it's, I, it's, athletic, a, it's a women's, women's clothing store? How, well, how would you, I No, you can get men's. Does your wife work out? No. no. There's yeah. no men's. Yeah, because um, my friend had some sweatpants on the other day. Actually, They're not probably my friend. Women's. My nephew. Listen, you know, if, no, no, if I you're I a guy you. wearing clothes from Lululemon. Tell that to my nephew. <laughs> I will. Who's oh, very wait, your nephew is hot. Yeah. That's the one I made the comment about on Facebook. And he was like, You could have had him. That's right. You could have had her nephew. And by the way, that's an open invitation. What's it like being the type of woman, especially when you're in this situation and you're uh -huh. just so in charge and you're so powerful and you're so hot, you could point to any man in the bar and they would have sex with you immediately. What's it like living life like that? Because I feel like Ugh. I it's live like the you're a opposite superhero. life but for that, women. That's what I feel like. I feel like not because of that. Um, most women could go into a bar and point at a man and have sex with him, to be it's honest. A good point. I mean, it's not, you guys aren't that. You know, good. Yeah, at, you're right. We, yeah, saying we, no to that. We'd have sex with but anything with a hole. I don't think that's Ouch. true. Including I really a wall. don't. I it don't. is true. It is true. What I think the power of it is, though, is feeling like sexual and sensual, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Not only is it okay, <laughs> it's like we're gonna display it in every single different facet. Like all of our numbers, if you we try to make our show like riding a roller coaster, yeah. where you go on different ways. There are there are um, moments in the show that are dark. 
and slower. And then there's some hardcore, really high energy, you know, goofball characters. So it's like getting to be every single woman. And that's why I, I usually come up with the storylines for most of our numbers. Jody choreographs them. Mm -hmm. um, but I usually come to her with a story. Mm -hmm. And I'm always trying to be some sort of woman mm -hmm. that I've seen in the world. Either a woman I hate, and so I want to play her to make fun of her, or a woman I love that I want to be for three minutes. So we want to bring that type of stuff into the show. Yes, so now we we've sold we've shot one scene. Yeah. This is and we've shot a scene and then we're gonna Nancy is gonna post it for once we expand howler.tv, we have to do some technical stuff to be able to post it. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna post this scene that we already shot, right. which I thought I was fabulous at. I thought um I also felt that I was excellent. <laughs> you both were and by the way, I would say in both cases this show, this is going to be edgier than anything you've ever seen. Certainly, John do. I, you know, yeah. I, it, it's it's going to be raw and yes. sort of Cassavetti's like. It's yes. going to harken back to the sort of Cassavetti's, even the style of the shooting, everything. And it's going to be edgy. So it's, it's not for kids. No, this is most definitely yeah. not for kids. Yeah. And we so we shot that scene. We're going to post that scene. Great. And maybe maybe a couple of versions, we're not quite sure. But anyway, we want to get your feedback on that. Meanwhile, we're shooting the second scene today, so we're always going to be slightly ahead of the yeah. viewers, but we're going to take your comments into account so you'll see it'll sort of leapfrog. And then ultimately, we're going to put together like a six, seven minute sizzle reel, which yeah. you guys will all be able to talk and vote on and stuff, and then we'll take it out. And then we'll take it out and pitch it. We'll, right. we'll also do a uh, pitch. We're going to take you all the way through because we'll also do like a pitch deck, which mm -hmm. we usually do. And we're gonna. I don't know that lingo. Yeah, I don't know. No. Pitch and pitch deck is we'll just a pitch PowerPoint. It. We'll pitch it. Maybe we'll do like a sample pitch. Oh yeah, we yeah. got to do the pitch for everybody, and then yeah. we give people's comments and feedback. Is this something you would watch? But based on the first scene, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I find I'm so hard pressed that people wouldn't want to watch it's it. It's so, and also the dancing is just it's hot. Bad. And and the and, way and we're powerful. trying to do it is sort of like as almost like you're one of one of the girls, you yeah. know, and you're it, you're. You're part of it. And that's the whole thing is we want to make sure this, in the beginning, everybody's going to look a little two-dimensional. Like you get who everybody is, but then you're going to start to see the backstory. And that's, this is a story I've always, I mean, I was, I'm so excited that you guys came to a show and kind of fell in love with what goes on here the way I am, because I've always dreamed of telling this story. I mean, to me, um, being a burlesque dancer is and this will sound weird because of how you th guys think I look so powerful. Mm -hmm. It's the most vulnerable I ever am mm. is my burlesque because it's me telling stories about me. Yeah. And that when you're an actor, you just pretend well, to be somebody else. And you're in else. your panties at and, the same time. Well, I, I would find strongest, that very. I feel strongest in my panties. I think the difficulty that should be on a t-shirt. In, mm -hmm. in like when I look at burlesque, because you know, obviously we're all looking at like what are past shows, and I notice that every burlesque show I've Ugh. seen is a little bit of All About Eve. It's all, Ugh. there's some young... Yes. And, and one of the things that I thought was interesting that you said to me is most women don't even start burlesque until they're into their 30s. They're not allowed in to burlesque yeah. groups because it really, you don't start really kind of discovering your sexuality. And I should say owning it, yeah. living in it until you're in your 30s. And you need life experience to burlesque dance because it's something I think, I don't mean to like gospel about burlesque but it's a soul thing yeah it is not real burlesque is not just oh i'm wearing this because i look hot let me look sexy it's like i said a storytelling a woman's storytelling and so this all is I kind know. of like is it like a amy schumer sex you know like like these women are powerful in and of them you know how like amy schumer sort of like warts and all but you know I don't think we want to see warts and all. Yeah. Let's if see. If we have some a war, nice we would generally ass. get it lasered off before a show. <laughs> yeah. By the That's way, not something every wanna... woman who's ever watched anything of my, the burlesque that I've cut together, their first question how do they remove the hair down there? 
laser. Wow. Well, some of the girls wax. I can't wax because I get folliculitis, uh-huh. so I just laser. What's you fully laser. Yeah, folliculitis is inflamed follicles. So it's like bumps. It, you'd get like I get bumps if I tried to wax. We don't need to see those. Yeah, I don't. Bumps. Yeah, I don't you, think that's you sexy. You stick with the waxing. So well, no, no, I, I do laser. Th- oh, no, you laser. laser. What do you? Yeah. I do thread. Thread. Yeah, you, I do huh, it myself. You thread your pubic hair. That yeah, would be so painful. I'm totally painful. clean right now. No, I don't do anything. I've got dingleberries from 1989. Ew! Ew! That's what a man does he hangs on to his dingleberries all right on that note yeah uh we're going to uh, please take a look at this mm-hmm. uh remember you can all we also by the way i don't know if you know this but we I have a burlesque don't. t-shirt yes that people can buy to support uh what we're doing and here. that that actually goes directly into the shoes directly so, into the yes, shoes not buy into our a pockets. t-shirt yeah. yes and then uh and that's it so we're gonna keep posting more but this is day one how to make a tv show Howler.tv, where we take over the world.